And in today's episode, I'm gonna share a very critical tip with you guys. If you're doing woodworking, buying lumber, and you don't have that much experience, this right here could save you a lot of money. at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business all right so what i'm gonna show you today is understanding you know lumber understanding if you are building something out of two by four four by four uh you know whether it be 10 inches whether it be 10 feet in length eight feet in length 12 feet in length you want to understand this so if you go buy a two by four whatever length from your local big box home supplier, building supply store, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, anywhere like that, a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that this piece of wood is actually four inches wide, two inches thick, and that's not the case. And when you are, say for instance, doing framing, you wanna know this because your sheets of plywood will be four feet by eight feet long. And when you go to butt them together, butt two walls together, and you think you're gonna have a, uh, you think that sheet of plywood is gonna mount up to the side of it very accurately, that's where you're gonna go wrong. And you're gonna wonder why is the plywood too small or are your measurements off? And your measurements are off. So when you look at a piece of two by four, you see what I'm saying? Let's get the width on this. It's actually three and a half inches wide, okay? And then when we do the thickness, it is one and a half inches thick. So that's very important because if I take two two by fours and stack them together, that's gonna give me three inches. If I take uh, take them and lay them this way and butt them side by side, that's gonna give me seven inches. So if I'm taking a two by four, let me give you an example. My little scrap wood, teach you this little class. So if I'm taking some, some two by fours and butting them together and I got this two by four right here that's eight feet and I'm butting it this way, you need to subtract off of the piece that's eight feet one and a half inches and that should leave you about right there where my finger is that way when you butt it up you're not throwing your your measurements off and you still can use an eight piece uh eight foot by a uh, four by eight uh sheet of plywood and then if you're gonna butt another piece of plywood on this end you want to subtract and cut off a doggone uh inch and a half off this side and this right here is why people have a lot of uh overlap in their building they don't if nobody's ever shown you that man chances are you could have dropped you know a thousand bucks on lumber or more trying to build something for the first time and you're wondering why your measurements are off and that's because a two by four is ripped or milled from a piece of wood that starts off as four inches wide and doggone two inches thick and they rip it all the way down to three and a half and then on this side one and a half inches as you see very important you know it takes it takes somebody that's done it a while to be able to articulate that to you because like i said this is just lumber that i've acquired over time and i'm able to get the most out of my building projects by understanding that when I go to a big box office store and I'm buying uh, lumber, man, I want to measure to make sure the actual thickness is what it is to confirm the true uh, measurements of it. And then also when you're buying lumber, say for instance, you buy a pallet of lumber and 
it's 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 you purchase eight feet or 10 feet or 12 feet you want to verify that it is an actual 12 feet especially when building and doing framing if you don't confirm that your measurements are going to be off you're going to be trying to wonder why your building is not square why your doggone stuff is not plumb and it all comes down to taking that math that a lot of us learned in public school and applying it to a doggone ruler this is the part right here where i show my sons hey you have to be able to take that stuff that you learn in school and apply it you know through application in you know uh your life in various ways so just wanted to, to share that with you guys so you can have understanding and avoid mistakes out